Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Fondin and I am the author of the new book, Twin Flame Romance, The Journey to Unconditional Love, available now in paperback. Kindle and Audible books. And if you're currently reading Twin Flame Romance and leave a review on Amazon, send me a screenshot once that review is up. You can email me at michellefondenauthor at gmail.com. I will send you an Audible promo code to get a free copy of Chakra Healing for Vibrant Energy on Audible. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to my channel, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for notifications for all new videos. We're doing a series on Twin Flames for Chakra Healing. So healing and aligning the chakras for the Divine Feminine, the Divine Masculine, and for the Twin Flame couple. Now I will post a timestamp below for when the meditation actually does start. And I'm just gonna talk about now a little bit about the second chakra. So we're on the second chakra. Now this is the day before Diwali. Diwali is this year on October 27th, 2019. And this is the Festival of Lights in India. Hindus celebrate it worldwide and it marks the celebration of the goddess Lakshmi and I just thought this was appropriate because Lakshmi is the goddess of abundance, wealth, fertility, everything in the divine feminine energy that is all good and flowing. So the second chakra is a yin energy. It is a feminine energy. It is called Svadhisthana. Svadhisthana in Sanskrit. It's a second chakra, the sacral chakra. It's right above the pubic bone and below the navel. So the color is orange. The mantra sound is Vam. This is our creativity and sexual chakra. The element is water. Water equals cohesiveness. Now when the chakra is aligned, creativity is flowing. Connections are flowing, love relationships are flowing, sexuality is flowing, fertility for both partners, both the masculine and feminine energies, that is flowing, as well as creative projects, creative ideas, that is all flowing. If this chakra is blocked, there are problems with the flow of creativity, so there might be disruption in sexual function, disruption in fertility known as infertility. There might be a block of creativity where you aren't able to have creative ideas flowing or you might just have a block in the creative project that you are doing. Of course, this encompasses the sex organs, right? And like I said, the element, which is really important here, is the element of water. Water equals cohesiveness, bringing two parts together to make a whole. Now, the problem with the second chakra is that it can also indicate addictions in the negative. It has the element of greed and lust in the negative as well. Maybe sexuality gone awry, <laughs> like a sexual addiction or having too many partners or deviant sexual behavior as well, something that's not very healthy. And when we do this meditation for the second chakra, we're working on really aligning with that beautiful flow of yin energy, that feminine energy that helps us to get back into the flow of things and to really heal. This is the second chakra. So it is one of the first three or elemental chakras. We are going to start this meditation as we just think about and focus on the area above the pubic bone, below the navel, and imagine a swirling wheel of orange circulating throughout. We're also going to bring to our mind's eye the element of water. Anything that has a good memory for you in the way of 
water. For me, it's the ocean. For you, it might be a river or stream, or maybe a warm bath or a jacuzzi. Whatever the element of water and a positive connotation that comes to mind during this meditation, go ahead and use that as an imagery to help you imagine this chakra of cohesiveness. So we're going to sit comfortably, go ahead and find your space, find a place, find a place of great comfort. Go ahead and close your eyes with a palm facing up. As I mentioned, you can also have a photo or an image of your twin flame with you, if they're not with you physically. If they're with you physically, welcome. And we're going to just set the intention to connect with your twin to help heal both of your second or sacral chakras together just bringing that energy together bringing that energy of flow that energy of cohesiveness that energy of the water element bringing it into alignment bringing it into that flow and just set that intention there so we're first going to just breathe gently into the second chakra, the sacral chakra, this beautiful flowing energy. Bring to mind the second or sacral chakra in your twin as well. Again, visualize that your twin flame partner is sitting with you. Now they could be sitting across from you they could be sitting next to you you both can be sitting in a body of water somewhere or floating in a body of water together maybe you guys are in the tub in the bathtub together or in a jacuzzi or in the shallow end of a beach somewhere or maybe just floating on water in the ocean or on a lake or stream just allowing this energy of flow to be with you allowing your lower belly just to breathe easy no constriction here when we do diaphragmatic breathing, we're breathing from that lower belly, that lower abdomen, which includes the second and the third chakras. So when we constrict the air from flowing into those lower areas of the belly, we're constricting the flow of the second chakra energy. Now for the Divine Feminine, this can sometimes be difficult because with the effort to hold in the tummy to look good, we have a tendency to constrict unknowingly the energy in the sacral or sexual chakra. So let the belly go let the air flow visualizing that flowing energy for you and your twin in the second chakra imagine your twin as well free flowing energy in their second chakra that they're not holding anything back the energy moves and around the second chakra to freely with air with energy they're releasing any suppression of that sexual and creative energy that they might have held suppressed of any suppression creative energy within you 
that you may have been holding suppressed. This is a beautiful release. It's a release of any blockages in that energy that may have been a hindrance to you and your twin flame partner to expressing the full magnitude of sexual and creative energy. You're letting go of any maybe inhibitions that you've accumulated throughout your life surrounding the topic of sexuality. You're enlivening the energy in that chakra to also release things like lower back pain for both of you. Just breathe deep into that area. With each breath, you're both feeling this energy just starting to get unknotted because for some reason I keep seeing that suppression of the second chakra sexual and creativity energy has kept both you and your twin flame partner kind of in knots not letting the energy flow freely through you so just with each breath, set the intention to, like water, gently move through and into every single area of the sacral chakra. So for you, for your twin flame partner. You're now feeling a swirl of creative and sexual energy moving through both of you and almost like a figure eight or the infinity symbol. And the water element energy is now able to flow freely through you and through your twin. In this figure eight, this infinity symbol energy. And allow the beautiful flow of this energy to move and heal and cleanse both of you. So I'd like you to continue with your imagery of whatever your favorite water place is where you're sitting with your twin your bodies are touching or lightly touching you're feeling not only the sensation of the water surrounding your body and moving gently through both of you and against your skin. But you are now feeling the healing energy with this water element moving in that figure eight pattern through you and your twin. 
and it continues to flow and it's like this ebb and flow this give and take and with each figure eight pattern you're feeling more and more liberated from any blockages from your life before you met your twin and from past lives and if you feel that you need to take deeper breaths as you feel this energetic flow intensify between you and your twin flame take deeper and more calming flowing breaths And if you feel any areas of discomfort in the second chakra, as this healing figure eight of energy is moving through you and your twin, as the ebb and flow, as the energy moves through, it is moving through the figure eight, the one half of the figure eight through your twin, and then circling back around and moving through you, you might feel a slight tinge of pain somewhere in the sacral chakra. And when you do, just breathe deeper into that pain. All that is, is energy being released to be transmuted, transformed, and healed. Continue to feel the sensation of the closeness with your twin in that selected area of water or body of water. Where you both feel totally relaxed. And then continue to feel the interior work that's being done as that figure eight of flow continues to do its work. healing both you and your twin flame from any second chakra ailments, mental, physical, or spiritual. Anything negative is being transmuted and transformed now and cleansed. Continue to breathe deep. Continue to place your focus on the sacral chakra.
continue to feel the energy of healing. You are now both becoming free of any karmic ties to your second chakra from the past. You are working with a clean slate now. And you are liberated into a healthier expression of your sexual and creative energy to move forward in life, to move forward with your twin, to create whatever it is you would like to create. Whether it's creating that loving relationship, creating a baby, creating a business, writing a book, creating a beautiful life with you and your twin flame romantic partner. Today, you and your twin have been energetically aligned at the second chakra. This energy will continue to flow and heal throughout the day. If you need to sit and allow this energy to work through you and through your twin for several minutes or even an hour, stay in the energy as long as you'd like. And as long as it takes for you to heal. If the majority of the healing has been complete for this session, in reality, or in your mind's eye, turn to your twin. Kiss them gently on the lips. Envelop them in a warm embrace. And thank them 
for spending the time with you on this healing journey. Assure them that all the blockages in their sexual and creative energy have now been completely transmuted and transformed into a beautiful flowing, beautiful flowing energy. They can feel the sweetness of the liberation, the sweetness of the flow, the sweetness of the connection. Know that you can repeat this meditation at any time that you deem necessary. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Share this video with other twin flames. And thank you for supporting this YouTube channel by buying a book or two or three and pledging your support on Patreon, www.patreon.com forward slash Michelle S. Fondon. And I will see you guys in the next video.